Yes or no on the 8th of March. On March 8th, you, the people of Ireland, will have an opportunity to have your voices heard in the privacy of the ballot box. It is more than just a vote. It will shape our country for the future generations forever. Senator Michael McDowell said, This is a recipe for chaos and uncertainty arising from the government's proposal to ascribe to the courts the function of defining what is meant by other durable relationships. We need certainty in the face of an uncertain future. Many of the policies pursued by this government are changing the fabric of Irish society. The government seems to be implementing policies that just feel very wrong for Ireland. Instinctively, many people know we are on the wrong road as a country. Too often we are forced into silence about these policies because we're afraid to voice our real opinions. We're scared of being falsely labeled as a racist, a bigot, far right, or not willing to embrace change. But these are false labels used to buy our silence. Meanwhile, Irish society is being transformed beyond recognition without any consultation with or permission from the people of Ireland. This is our opportunity to say no to a government that has gagged us from voicing an opinion on the direction we are headed. We can say no to a government that has not listened to the people of Ireland. This referendum is our chance to register a protest vote against the government in a silent yet strong way. Visualize the future you want for the children of Ireland. Do you really want mother, woman, and home erased from our Constitution? Just say no. Erasing woman and mother is not progressive, but regressive. Do you want radical gender ideology taught in our schools? Or do you want children to grow strong roots? To love and accept themselves? Do you want a wide open border policy? Say no to open borders. We have no idea who is coming into Ireland. Women and children have been stabbed and men have been beheaded by people who do not value our Irish culture. How you vote comes down to your level of trust and your desire for growth and change. Do you trust the people in power? Do you trust Varadkar, a World Economic Forum young global leader, to act in the best interest of the Irish people? Do you trust Martin with Ireland's sovereignty and neutrality? Do you trust McEntee with Ireland's safety and freedom of speech? Durable relationships will open our borders. Is Ireland safe? Do you trust Ryan and the Greens with farms, food supply and carbon taxes? Do you trust Foley with our children's education? when she wants to push transgenderism and critical race theory? Do you trust O'Gorman with children and our borders? 
O'Gorman deleted files of children in care. O'Gorman misappropriated 1.1 million euros of our public funds to push his LGBTQI plus agenda. O'Gorman seems to be ignoring girls in state care who are being raped by predatory gangs. O'Gorman is pushing transgenderism onto young innocent children and has been seen with Peter Tatchell. Do you trust O'Gorman, who is recruiting asylum seekers in many different languages? Do you trust Donnelly to make health choices for you and your family? Do you trust Donnelly, who is ignoring excess deaths and wants a no-blame COVID inquiry? Why vote to change the Constitution? when the Irish government is covering up 64 pages of minutes about this referendum. Visualize the future that you want for the children of Ireland. Do you trust the people in power to make decisions for you and your family? Say no to a government who doesn't listen. Say no to an Ireland in which we feel alienated. Say no to open borders. Say no to radical gender ideology. Say no to the housing crisis. Say no to an Ireland our children can't afford. Vote no to removing women from the Constitution. Vote no to removing mothers from the Constitution. Let your vote be the catalyst for growth and change. Raise your voice. Let it be heard in the corridors of power. Get involved with our grassroots campaigns, the Natural Women's Council, Irish Education Alliance, Lawyers for Justice Ireland and Parents' Rights Alliance receive no public funding. We rely solely on donations and hours from people like yourself. Thank you for your support and thank you for voting no-no on the 8th of March.